Yummy, me so hungry. Varieties of pizza are everywhere, and as a result, people are quick to bring up their favorites. Which one reigns supreme? Deep dish. Can we get stuffed crust? Some of you may be rolling your eyes, but this style of pizza is nothing short of a cultural achievement. Even if you're not a Chicago native, chances are you know or have at least tried deep dish in one of its many iterations. It's made with a thick, usually cornmeal-rich crust that serves as a container for toppings with its high-walled construction. Most varieties of deep dish stand somewhere between 2 to 3 inches tall, and when you consider everything that goes into a deep dish, it's easy to see why this monolithic crust is warranted. Cheese is usually laid down first, and then piled with toppings before this pie gets a healthy heaping of tomato sauce. Because of the large nature of the pizza, it needs to cook for a long time, usually close to 45 minutes. This might seem like a long time to wait for pizza, but when you consider the net weight and sheer amount of food you're getting, we proclaim that the wait is usually worth it. If you're looking to take your deep dish game a step further, look to Lou Malnati's, which has been perfecting the Chicago culinary icon for decades. Their claim to fame is a thin sausage wafer hidden under the cheese, which means that every slice of your pie is going to come complete with a zesty sausage bite. Whatever your opinion on the mountain of dough and sauce, it's hard to deny that deep dish style pizza has left its mark on pizza lovers everywhere. Pan Pizza You got dipping sticks. Made famous by two brothers in Wichita, Kansas, who would later go on to found Pizza Hut, Pan Pizza is arguably the most well-recognized pizza here in the States. Its construction is similar to deep dish pizza and is often started in a deep dish skillet or sheet pan. The difference is mostly in there, as with the pan pizza, a significant amount of oil is used to coat the pan. This delivers the fried and crispy texture that we all know and love, as the oil coats the crust and cooks it to delicious golden brown perfection. After its inception and meteoric rise to popularity, it didn't take long for other pizza chains to follow suit and create their own rendition of the pizza. Domino's would come out with its own variety of deep dish in 1989. Although other brands would never quite master it like Pizza Hut, this brought about a wider recognition of the popular style of pie. It turns out that 40% of pizza lovers are most fond of a thick crust, and as a result, Pan Pizza still has a stranglehold on the game. If you've never tried this variety of pie, we assume you've been living under a rock, but know that it's never too late to experience this groundbreaking culinary tradition. New Haven style. And is instant pizza pie. Ooh, pizza. One of the lesser known varieties on our list is the critically acclaimed New Haven style pizza, which has been in contention for best pizza style for many years. It's a type of thin crust, coal fired pizza that's most popular around New Haven, Connecticut. This style harkens back to the Neapolitan pizza, which is often referred to as a pizza, and most notably made with a coal fired oven with simple ingredients like oregano, tomato sauce, and pecorino romano cheese. People can't seem to get enough of the charred, chewy crust, which remains a signature calling card of this variety. If you haven't had a chance to try New Haven style pizza, fear not. The forces that be are slowly pushing this culinary achievement across the states. From Italy to Connecticut, this pizza is certainly making the rounds. Here's hoping that you don't have to drive across the country and make a trip to Connecticut just to try it. California style. No, I obviously didn't try. Stop. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. If you're in the mood for fresh vegetables and herbs, then California-style pizza is going to be just your speed. The dough is lighter than that which is found on the East Coast, and some people applaud this simple but dynamic change. These pies are often piled high with bright and vibrant flavors, and don't shy away from anything green. This means that it's common to see California-style piled high with things like arugula, spinach, basil, and pesto drizzle. Some may call this sacrilege, but we find it hard to argue with the progress that California style is ushering in. Pair these lighter toppings with an equally light dairy including goat's milk cheese, and you have a match made in heaven. Many people dispute where this style of pizza originated from, but most seem to agree that it's made its debut in the Bay Area around San Francisco. Look no further than California Pizza Kitchen when you're craving your next slice, as they seem to be pushing most of the innovation when it comes to this divisive pie. While it pays homage to old-school Neapolitan style, don't tell Nona that you've been getting your slices from the West Coast. 
because this type of pizza is anything but traditional. So the next time you're looking for a little bit of a shake-up from your normal weekday pizza, try a California-style pie and see what the fuss is all about. Detroit style. That's right, when super giant pizza, plain, nothing on it. Chances are that even if you didn't know it, you've come across this style of pizza a time or two in your life. Detroit style pizza gained national attention through the popular pizza chain, Little Caesars, but is also popular with the lesser known chain, Jets. It's a deep dish style of pizza cooked in a rectangular shape and served in square pieces. Like Chicago deep dish, the toppings are layered underneath the sauce to avoid burning. Pepperoni is placed directly on the crust before a finishing top of cheese and sauce is added to make this culinary icon. It has a buttery flavor and crispy crust thanks to it being baked and is often topped with Wisconsin brick cheese, which stands up well to its increased cooking time and high heat. In recent years, Detroit style has taken the world by storm, and it seems that pizza lovers everywhere can't get enough of the delicacy. It should come as no surprise that reviews and mentions of the style were up 52% in 2021, according to Yelp. Who knows? There could be a new king in town when it comes to pizza. Chances are some version of Detroit style pie will be coming to a pizzeria near you. St. Louis style. All right, she's gone. Now, who wants pizza? Another lesser known variety of pizza comes in the form of St. Louis style. It's best known for its cracker thin crust made without any yeast. This allows for a solid foundation that can be piled high with all your favorite toppings. This particular pizza also makes a name for itself due to its strange cheese blend, which is a combination of processed Swiss, provolone, and white cheddar. The blend has been dubbed Provel, and fans of the unique style can't stop raving about its flavor and texture. Unlike the classic triangle slice that most are accustomed to, St. Louis style chooses to party cut their pies into small rectangles, which might be perfect for your next get-together. Tavern style. I hate Mondays. When most people travel to Chicago, they're seeking out that classic slice of Chicago deep dish. But locals of the Windy City are keeping a secret in the form of tavern-style pizza. While Chicago may not be the only big city in the U.S. that serves this special type of pizza, we can definitely thank them for doing most of the legwork and putting it on the map. Tavern-style pizza can be found all over the Midwest, in cities like St. Louis, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and many others. This type of pizza was made to be held in one hand, while you down your preferred adult beverage in the other, meaning that it needs to be greasy, plentiful, and tasty. Once again, you'll find that square-shaped party cut is the preferred medium with this particular pizza, although it tends to be formed on a circular pan, meaning that every once in a while, crust lovers will be treated to the perfect slice of a skinny triangle. These slices are made purely of that golden cracker crust, which provides a perfect toothy snap. Buffalo style. A poor delicious buffalo. If you're not satisfied with Chicago style and the Big Apple's pizza offerings aren't doing the trick anymore, why not visit a city that's combining all the winning elements from both of them? Buffalo, New York is home to over 600 pizzerias, meaning that a lot of inspiration and innovation is taking place on the edge of Lake Erie. Putting it simply, Buffalo-style pizza is a mix of both thick and thin crust pizza. Many raving fans will fondly refer to it as party-style pizza, and most often it comes in a rectangular shape, which is then subsequently cut into square shapes. Noticing a trend yet? It has a deep and rich sweet sauce, which can only be accomplished through reduction and lots of tomato paste. Most people agree that mozzarella should make up most of the cheese blend, adding much needed moisture to the sheet pan cooking method. The edges are left to char in the oven, adding a crispy, crunchy texture to the furthest edges of the crust. Cheese is piled high, and the toppings are piled even higher before this mammoth-sized pizza is cooked to perfection, making it the ultimate crowd pleaser. While some critics call this no more than a homemade attempt at crafting pizza, locals of Buffalo and surrounding areas declared this culinary creation entirely unique. While Chicagoans and New Yorkers alike may be turning up their nose at this strange rendition, we suggest that you try it for yourself before you write off Buffalo-style pizza. Colorado Mountain Pie. You 
make the pizzas in one of those uh, wood-burning ovens? No, we're not talking about the dessert here. While this pizza may sound like something you'd get from a dispensary in Denver, it's actually an interesting take on a classic food. Bo Joe's has been offering up Colorado Mountain Pizza since 1973, and locals have been hooked for nearly 50 years. There's no shortage of toppings on this pizza, and it's not uncommon to find one weighing close to four pounds. What makes it truly unique, however, is its style of hand-rolled crust that puffs up during cooking and creates giant, pillowy handles of chewy dough. From a traditional standpoint, this may seem like little more than a giant loaf of bread at the end of your slice, but Bo Joe's has had the forethought to offer up plenty of honey for dipping when the cheese and toppings portions of your pizza have all gone. When you consider all of these elements, the reason for its unique name becomes a little clearer. While traditional pie lovers might be rolling their eyes, it's clear that Colorado Mountain Pie isn't going anywhere soon. As a result, we humbly request that you treat yourself next time you're adventuring through the Rocky Mountains. Who knows? You could find your next favorite slice out in John Denver territory. New York Style I can't wait to get me a fella and make my own pie. There are a few culinary icons that everyone needs to experience when they visit New York City. Pastrami sandwiches, egg creams, bagels, and of course, the ever-coveted dollar slice. You knew we wouldn't be able to make this list without paying tribute to arguably the most famous food city in the world, and the delicious pizza that are right in the heart of it all. New York-style pizza is big, like the city that it originates from, so it should come to no surprise when the slice that you purchase is larger than a toddler. It's made with mountains of low-moisture mozzarella and rich tomato sauce that provide a winning combination of chewy, melty, and tangy goodness. People will claim that true New York-style pizza cannot be replicated anywhere outside of the city due to the mineral content of the water from which it's made. It's said that this gives all the bread produced in the city that signature taste that can't be explained. Not only is the method of production unique, but so is the method of consumption. Due to the sheer size of most of these slices, New Yorkers were quick to fold their pizza in half and enjoy it without the tip drooping out the reach of their mouth. Who wants more steps between them and their pizza anyway? New York-style pizza is sold in hundreds of locations throughout the city, each putting their own spin and flair on it. This means that you're sure to find a pie that speaks to you if you're willing to look hard enough. Whether it be made with quality or cheap ingredients, New York style is something totally of its own, often imitated, but never replicated. We're not saying that a bit of New York style pie is necessarily the perfect bite, but what we are saying is that it's something everyone needs to experience at one point in their life. If you want to be the best, you have to act like it, and New York City gladly offers up their rendition of everyone's favorite food without hesitation. Love it or hate it, New York City doesn't care. They've been unapologetically doing this Italian cuisine staple for over a century, and they aren't going to stop anytime soon. Hungry for more? Then check out another great Babbletop video. Just tap or click. Thanks for watching.